Good evening, good evening, guys. Mauricio, Abby, how you doing? Dinora, Salvador, good evening. How are you, people? I'm fine, teacher. Hello, how I'm glad to be here. I'm okay, I'm doing just fine. Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, is your Tuesday okay? Is it going fine? Blanca, good evening. Great to see you around. So everything good, guys. Yali, so para vacaciones. Are you having <laughs> vacation? Are you having Christmas? And guys, so probaron un día extra. No, dos, right? You have like two extra days. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Descansan los holidays. Van a descansar el 24, 24, 25, 26. Of course. Oh, nice. That's amazing. Mauricio, what about you? También descansan los tres. Well, in yeah. este caso, los seis días. Yeah, yo, I have vaca my vacation. Uh-huh. And the December 23. Okay. Hasta, ¿cómo se dice? Until. Until. Uh -huh. uh, eh, 11 January. Gen January 11th? Yeah. Oh my God. How many weeks is that? Two, three? Fixing. Fixing. 15 days. 15 days. Eh, wow. Vacation. Annual vacation. Ah, okay. So, y los tres días se los agregan. So, the, yeah. the days that today were approved. Se los oh, agrega, son adicionales. Yeah, of course, yeah. Wow, le va a salir una vacación larga. <laughs> very, very <laughs> larga. Have a nice vacation. Ok, significa que se va de vacaciones. When is the 23rd? And Friday. 19, 20, Friday? Friday? Ah, ok, so Friday the 23rd. Wow, that's amazing. ¿Ya tiene planners? Do you have some plans? ¿Qué va a hacer en su vacación? What yes, I have a plan. I, I travel to uh, United States. Ah, okay. Do you have some family there? Yeah. Nice. With my family. No, that's amazing. Que lo disfrute. I Thank hope you. you can enjoy it. Porque va a ser una vacación bastante larga. So that's amazing. Very large. Yeah. Dinora, what about you? Are you resting? Va a descansar toda la vacación. Are you working? Le va a tocar trabajar. Kenya, good evening. Yes, teacher, I working. Incluyendo los holidays, even the 24th, no, no. the 25th. No. Uh, I have a day off. Mm -hmm. in 24th and holiday too. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yes. No, but that's amazing. Really nice. So, yes. los, los días que probaron se quedan, you know, como a nivel de, right? You're going to rest a little. But it's really nice. So, um, guys, espero que los demás también puedan descansar un poco, que les den días extra. Georgina, good evening. Great to have you. Um, so it's really nice. Abby, what about you? Va a descansar? Are you waking? Are you uh, resting? Are you having vacation? No sé si Abby está por acá. Mm. A me or? Yes. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you miss one here. <laughs> um, I work. Yes. Only. Mm -hmm. Yes. Descansar, rest, ver. Rest. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Only 24 and uh -huh. 26. 24 and 26. Yes. Y el 25th, oh. el 25 25th. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so Three esta days. vez. Le agregan un día más, o so, si los va a descansar. You're gonna rest them. Um, 25 so, is always work. Esto always holiday. <laughs> uh, okay, so the 25th. I don't talk the. El domingo, right? 25th. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. En Monday, no, pero el lunes también es vacación ahora, so. 
It's going to be vacation for you. It's going to be a holiday. Only this year or always years? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Creería que solo esta vez. I think it's going to be just today, but ya vamos a investigar. We're going to investigate a little more on that. Or guys, no sé si ustedes escucharon or you know about it. Eh, ¿Saben si también aplica para el futuro or just today? Well, ya vamos a buscar, pues creo que es bien reciente. It just happened today. But anyways. But I'm super glad, guys. Me alegra mucho que vayan a descansar. That you will be, um, you know, resting a little bit. That's really nice. Georgina, usted también descansa. I mean, because algunos lugares, eh, I know for a fact que les va a tocar trabajar, aunque sea holiday. So that's why, right? Eh, lady, good evening. Miss Mendoza, good evening. Uh, guys, how you doing? Como les ven su martes? Everything good? Everything all right? Are you having a good day? A good day. A good day. Already. So I'm super glad, guys. Y realmente me alegra, you know, que puedan descansar un poquito. No caen mal los días extra. Uh, ok, Abigail, no problem. Espero que llegue a su casa con bien. And it's really nice to have you. Well, guys, el día de ahora eh, damos por finalizado el módulo. Vamos a tener nuestra última sesión. Vamos a hacer un repaso de vocabulario. Eh, de algunos temas gramaticales que hemos estado eh, trabajando, un poquito de vocabulario que hemos trabajado, pero eh, que si no lo practicamos se nos va a ir olvidando. So we're going to try to practice. Vamos a practicar un poquito eh, esas expresiones. Vamos a revisar un poquito de past tenses too y un poco de los verbos as well que nos quedamos eh, por ahí like pending, right? Um, let me see, let me see. Agradecerles, guys, eh, por el uso de la plataforma. La mayoría uh, ya avanzó bastante. So thank you so much for that. Really, really nice eh, that everybody finished the platform. And, y pues por todo el, el, el commitment de estar acá tempranito and everything. Hector, good evening. Great to see you as well. So thank you so much. And guys, Uh, vamos a uh, intentar hacerlo más spoken, vamos a intentar eh, participar a little bit, speak a little bit, uh, para no escribir, you know, si solamente vamos a ir recordando un poquito el vocabulario. So let's get started here, revisemos el vocabulario que vimos ayer, lo que hemos estado trabajando the previous weeks. And uh, guys, tenemos esta parte de acá, so we have this little part. And ayúdenme con el vocabulario, please. So, what do you remember? Sin ver el cuaderno, guys, without opening your notebook, tell us a little bit about it. So, breath. ¿Nos pueden dar un ejemplo? Can you give us a sentence using breath? Lo que ustedes recuerden, whatever you remember, guys. The meaning is aliento, ¿verdad? Mm, very good. Yes, the meaning is aliento. Exactly. ¿Alguien recuerda? Does anybody remember? <laughs> ya se les olvidó, guys. You forgot it already? What about breathe? Si no recuerdan breath, that's okay. No pasa nada. What about breathe? Agregámosle una letra E. Let's add a letter E. ¿Qué significaba, guys? What is the meaning cuando le agregamos una E? Respirar. Excellent. So, ¿alguien recuerda? Can you give us an example? Denos una oración, lo que ustedes recuerden. Whatever you remember. If you live, you live. Exactly. So if you breathe, you live. All right. Ah, uh, se recordó. I think you remember. Um, so part of the of the uh, video that we watched last time. All right. Very good. 
What about the second, guys? La siguiente que tenemos, the second we have here, is search. ¿Se Buscar. recuerdan de algún ejemplo? Do you remember any? I search a job. I search for a job, exactly. Yo busco la verdad. I search for the truth. <laughs> ¿Qué otro ejemplo se les ocurre? Anything else? Yeah, wow. Teacher. Mm -hmm. I okay. search a document. I'm searching for a document. All right. Sounds good. It sounds really good. Very nice. Perfect. Let's go with grow. Can you give us an example using grow? Crecer. Sin abrir el cuaderno, guys. Without checking. Aha, uh -huh, that's crecer. I agree in country. Pueblo or country? Yes, yes, good. I grew in the country mm -hmm. or in the countryside. Very good. Mm -hmm. well, I grew up, right? Podemos también utilizarlo con grew up. Very good. ¿Qué más, guys? What else do you remember? Grow. Lo utilizamos para crecer. ¿Para qué más, guys? What else? Para la cosecha. Para la cosecha, okay. Can you give us an example? ¿Alguien más se recuerda algún yeah. ejemplo? ¿Cómo utilizarlo? Teacher. Yes, yes. You can grow vegetable. Um, no sé. I think. No, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So I grow vegetables. Excellent. Yeah, we can use I grow vegetables. I grow plants. So I grow uh, chemas, fruit, crops. Crops. Yes. Can you say it again? Animal. Ah, animals, yes, como cuando tenemos eh, restos, right, or eh, le llamamos en English cattle. So cattle es esta combinación bovina, right, de cows, Cosmo. de go, uh -huh. a eso se le llama cattle, uh, como las reses o ganado, right? So that's cattle. Okay, very nice. What about, eh, well, that creo que está bastante fácil, alive también, we definitely got it. Warning, can you give us an example with warning? Warning, guys. In this place, I any warning. Uh, in this place, there are any warnings. There are any warnings, uh, como advertencias, right? Yes. Okay, so in this place, there isn't any warning. Yeah, we can use that. That works. Eh, algo más, anything else, otro ejemplo yeah. que tengan por ahí, yes. Can you read the warning? Mm -hmm. Very good, can you read the warning? Sounds nice, okay, very nice. What about next one, guys? Show up, ¿alguien recuerda que era show up? Hablábamos de phrasal verbs, hablábamos mm. de verbos que cambian, Aparecer. yes. Aparecer, exactly. ¿Qué ejemplos se recuerdan? We can, or ¿Cómo usamos el show up? Today I don't show up in my work. Uy, Hector. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> ok, today, today I didn't show up at work. Yes, podemos utilizarlo, definitely yes. So, como yo no llegué, right? Yo no aparecí. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? ¿Tienen otro ejemplo por ahí? Do you have another example?
puede ser teacher we show up in mm -hmm. the party. Eh, con show up. Con show up. We oh, show up. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, we show up in the party. Okay. Yes, yes, of course. Eh, recordemos que show up es como llegar a un lugar o hacer presencia. Eh, so, yes, definitely, yes, it works. So, we showed up in the party. So, very nice. Okay, good. What about boundaries? Ayer veíamos esa palabra. No sé si recuerdan what is the meaning yeah. of boundary. What is a boundary, guy? My house boundary of the river. Oh, okay, so my house, sorry, hay un error acá, tendría que ser A, letter A. Okay, so a. yes, there is a, a boundary of my house and the river. Okay, so boundary, decíamos que es como un límite, right? So very good. What about handle? ¿Qué recuerdan de handle? What do you remember? ¿Qué, qué manejan ustedes? What do you handle, guys? I handle my I handle policy. Okay, so I handle some policies, right? Okay. ¿Qué más? I handle that my homework is fine. I handle um uh, can you say it again? Can you repeat it, please? I handle that my homework is fine. I handle como manejo mi tarea. Something like that? Or what do you mean? Uh, teacher, handle yes. is me. Revisa. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you say that again? I handle my homework. Okay. I handle my homework. I handle, I handle. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. Quizás solo necesito un poquito más de contexto, but it's all right. Yeah, remember that handle is bastante similar a manage, como eh, la puedo realizar, right? Como le puedo manipularla. Well, puede ser manipulación. Eh, puede ser llevarla a cabo, right? O terminar una actividad. So, yeah, sounds good. Quizás un poquito más de contexto. Just to make it clear, but very nice. Teacher. All right. Yes, Miss. I can using, for example, uh, I handle my PC very well. Uh, okay. I handle, yes. Uh, I handle uh, the use of my, uh, quizás sería más como my the no. programs, right? Mm -hmm. I handle the programs. Eh, porque es bastante similar a manage. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so I handle the programs, I handle eh, Excel or I, I manage Excel. Yeah, so that sounds good. Sounds all right. No okay. sería como con equipos, teacher. Pero, sorry. Handle. Eh, si podemos no. utilizar, eh, yes, of course. Eh, si podemos utilizar como... Cosas de forma eh, manual, yes, we can use it too. Ok, teacher, thank you. Uh -huh. Si sí, podemos utilizar handle también that way. Teacher. Yes, miss. I handle my printer very well. Ok, ok, exactly. That's a very good example, similar a lo que eh, consultaba. Eh, Abigail, yes, claro, podemos utilizarlo that way as well. Um, bien interesante porque la pronunciación de esta palabra, guys, eh, es como una O, right? A pesar que se escribe así, la pronunciación tiende a ser como handle. Uh -huh. So I handle, right? Or handling. Handle también cuando, no sé si se han fijado en algunas máquinas grandes, maquinaria industrial, eh, la compuerta. Right? O las manecillas, no dicen door, no dicen knob, but dicen handle. So handle eh, tiende a ser como la manecilla, right? Uh, en los buses, por ejemplo, en the buses, también dice handle. So handle puede ser como un agarre, right? 
Oh, namanesia. So that can be uh, also to give you like some extra info. Y la pronunciamos como handle. Um, por alguna razón, for some reason, I don't understand. Cuando hablamos también de eh, cuando estamos un poquito subidos de peso, right? Y tenemos lo, tenemos lo que le llamamos en español como las llantitas, right? <laughs> in English, tienen el nombre de handle. So, si alguna vez ven videos, right? We call them love handles. Quizás porque, es, I, I don't know, guys. <laughs> you could uh, get an idea. Pero se llaman love handles, eh, los rollitos que tenemos, right? Eh, just to give you some extra info too. So handle es como una manecilla o un agar, right? Um, next word we have is misunderstanding. La veíamos el día de ayer. We checked it yesterday. ¿Qué recuerdan? What do you remember? What is misunderstanding, guys? For example, teacher, I misunderstand mm -hmm. the exam or the oh. question. Okay, okay, okay. It, in ese caso, lo podemos utilizar sin el ing. I misunderstand, como yo malentiendo. But yes, yes. I misunderstand. Y si fuera pasado, guys, ¿cuál sería el pasado? ¿Cuál creen? El pasado de understand. Understood. Understood. Entonces yo puedo decir, oh, yo te entendí mal. I misunderstood. Right? Deme un segundo, guys. Give me a sec. I'm sorry, sorry about that. Okay, so we have misunderstanding, que es como entender mal algo, right? Or eh, lo utilizo sin el ING, solo misunderstand, y el pasado que es el mismo de understood. So mis understand, o el pasado mis understand. To, right? Eh, y perfectamente lo podemos utilizar como un verbo. We can use it as a verb. Okay. La última, guys. Overcome. What was the meaning of overcome? What was it? I have overcome you. Okay. Okay. Me imagino que es como superado, right? Así es. <laughs> okay. Como ya te olvide. I have overcome. Mm, let me think. Uh, I have, oh, let me think. Uh, overcome, sí, es superar, but más un obstáculo, but um, let me think. Porque la más común es utilizar give up on you. Mm. Miss Thunder, okay, let me see. So overcome, overcome you, so. Oh, yeah, okay. I can overcome. Can Teacher, I... podría usar este, we overcome all problems? Yes, 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 yes. Eh, yeah, podemos utilizarlo, I overcome my problems. Estaba buscando en el sentido de una persona. Pero quizás para una persona sí le vamos a cambiar un poquito eh, porque es más eh, como una dificultad, un problema, una situación, una enfermedad. So, para personas utilizamos I give up on you, right? Como yo ya me di por vencida yo, o yo ya, ya te olvidé, I forgot you, or yeah. So, utilizamos I give up on you or I gave up on you. Teacher, mm -hmm. yes, me. You could, you could for write the word. Eh, claro, lo acá lo dejé. I, I left it here in the chat para que ustedes lo vayan también eh, viendo y les quede guardadito. So, mm -hmm, I give up. Or si fuera pasado, right? I gave up on you. 
But very nice. Sounds good. Okay. And so overcoming lo usamos como el ejemplo de you provided. I overcame my problems. Eh, estaba enfermo y ya no. I overcame my illness, right? Eh, so es como superar, pero algo diferente. Something differently. Okay, guys. Okay. I think we're good with that. So vamos a practicar un poquito. We're going to practice parte de la eh, grammar que hemos estado revisando también. So we're going to practice that part. Give me a second here. And uh, guys, eh, tengo un par de situaciones. I have a couple of situations here. Vamos a revisar if we can get them. Hi, Mr. Sanchez, Mr. Narvaez. Good evening. Ezequiel, great to see you. Hey, Juanjo, good evening. Hi, Noé. Good great evening. To see you. Hi, Michelle. Nice to see you guys. Oh, wait. Good evening, teacher. My cam is out. I haven't noticed. Okay. Good evening, good evening. All right, guys. So let's get started and let's take a look at these situations we have right here. Look, it says, um, find advice below which you agree with or you disagree with. So tenemos un par de advice. What is the meaning of advice? Guys, denme otra palabra para decir advice. Give me another word. Como sinónimo. Do you, can you think of a synonym for advice? Warning. Mm, warning. Okay, un poco más suave. <laughs> warning es fuerte. Mm, so, una palabra un poco más suave, something that means uh, advice. Synonyms, guys? Guide. Guide. Advice. Ajá, uh -huh. synonym for advice. Notice. <laughs> Notice. Hay dos palabras más fáciles. <laughs> Notice. Could be. Metros. Uh, advice. Ad. Mm, so, we can use instead of advice, porque acá if you take a look, it says find advice below. So, what is advice? Well, podemos utilizar the word recommendation o podemos usar suggestions, right? So, find recommendations which you agree with or disagree with. Y las recomendaciones eh, están acá abajo. So, what I want you to say is just the following. Vamos a leerlos. We're going to read them. Y vamos a definir, you're going to mention if you agree or you disagree. Si están de acuerdo o si están en desacuerdo. And the most important thing, ¿por qué? Right? Why? For example, look, algunos están bastante complicados, but guys, yo sé que pueden hacerlo, you can do it. Pueden intentar explicar su idea en English. Look, if a boy rarely see his father, he had problems growing up to be a man. Agree or disagree? So, si un chico, if a boy, rarely see his father, va a tener problemas, do you agree? Do you disagree or not? Personally, eh, yo estoy en desacuerdo. I disagree with this. And, you know, cuando doy eh, una explicación, Recordemos que podemos utilizar un par de expresiones como because, right? Podemos utilizar otros conectores, but at the moment, because is more than perfect to be used. Look at the others. For example, este de acá abajo dice, if a boy occasionally has fights with other children at school, that is nothing to worry about. Guys, what do you think? Si un niño pelea en la escuela, there is nothing to worry about. No hay de qué preocuparse. Is it normal? Do you agree? Or do you disagree? Disagree. Okay, now we're going to like say why. Oh, oh, claro, you can give more examples. Si ustedes peleaban, if you fought, if you didn't fight. En all of those. So, tenemos un par de ej ejemplos here, pero revisemos antes, guys, el significado, right? Uh, so, really quick. Um, 
Do you know the meaning of, se recuerdan el significado de sim? Do you remember this word? Visto. Mm, eh, se parece mucho, pero visto va con N, sin, y esta Parecer. va con M. Parecer. Parecer, exactly. If your child doesn't seem to want to talk, about their day at school. So, si parece que no quiere hablar, right? If it seems he doesn't want to talk about a school. Now, revisemos esta otra palabra. Scratched. What is a scratched? If a child often has a scratched, what is that? Como rasgar. Exactly. Hacer esto, right? So, if a boy has a scratched, Knees en elbows, este es su elbow, right? El codo. codo. Knees en elbows. That is just normal part of growing up. Do you agree? ¿Están de acuerdo? Do you agree? Or do you disagree with that? And. Yes, uh, okay. mm, <risa> ya nos van a dar una explicación güey. guys, I'm sorry vamos a hacerlo, vamos a hacer un pequeño comercial nada más, we're gonna do like a little um, commercial here, ok eh, vamos a completar, creo que la mayoría ya está acá, yes ok, solo creo que me hace falta one person I think that is Paolo and ya voy a revisar, I'm gonna check it out So, voy a robarles un par de minutitos, guys, para que mientras están todos acá, vamos a completar la encuesta y luego volvemos y hablamos de esta situación, right? So, eh, creo que la mayoría recibió el mensajito, si no, eh, vamos a ir haciéndolo acá. So, les he compartido por acá eh, la información que vamos a utilizar para la encuesta. Eh, Dinora es la primera vez que nos acompaña, right? Es el primer módulo con nosotros. Yes, teacher. Ok. ¿De quién más, guys? ¿Quién más? Solo de Nora, right? Creo que solo de Nora. Ok. So, eh, de Nora lo que hacemos es algo llamado encuesta de satisfacción. Es para dar como para por finalizado en nuestro módulo. Eh, creo que la mayoría lo recibió en un mensajito. Pero si ese no fue el caso, eh, les comparto acá cómo vamos a ir completándolo. So, en el chat, guys, les he compartido eh, el link para que le podamos dar clic. En, para que nos lleve a la encuesta de satisfacción. Es el mismo proceso que ustedes han hecho anteriormente. Eh, so, vamos a ir little by little, you know, en caso alguien se nos pierda. Solamente pedirles, guys, que la información que nos pide en la encuesta lo hagamos eh, uh, para, para no volverla a hacer, para que no se les sea rechazada, right? Eh, solamente tengamos bastante cuidado al momento de irla completando. Eh, y que la copiemos y la peguemos para que no lo tengan que digitar. Eh, ¿Me confirman si todos ingresaron? ¿Todos están sí. en el link? Hola, hola. I have the question. Dígame, Mr. Narváez. Eh, este, esta encuesta siempre la han llenado en los, todos los módulos. Porque, bueno, estaban en los módulos anteriores, pero nunca habíamos llenado esta encuesta. Primera vez. No, ¿Nunca habían llenado la de satisfacción? No, primera vez. Probablemente haya sido un cambio de módulo. Eh, o probablemente estuvieron antes como, como oyentes, como listeners. Pero para este módulo, pues todos me aparecen registrados. Entonces, sí, la vamos a llenar. We're going to eh, complete it. Probablemente esa haya sido la razón, right? Mm, so, mm -hmm, you're welcome. So, guys, so sí les pido su ayuda completando little by little. Cuando le damos clic, eh, les va a aparecer encuesta de satisfacción de inglés. Se solicita su apoyo, completar la encuesta de satisfacción. Y el primer elemento que les pide es el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca. En mi pantalla ustedes pueden ver el número de orden, pero sí les pido que no la copien porque a veces pues no corresponde, se nos va un numerito. Entonces, guys, se las he compartido acá en el, en el chat de Zoom 
para que solo lo copien y lo peguen. Orden de inicio, lo que vamos a copiar es el primer número que aparece. Eh, solo copienlo y peguen. Se los comparto individual para que se les haga más fácil. Luego, el siguiente punto es el nombre completo. Es el nombre de ustedes. Según DUI, así tal cual aparecen sus DUI, guys. Así lo vamos a escribir, please. Um, el siguiente elemento que les pide es el correo electrónico, su correo de preferencia, el personal o el de la empresa, that's ok número de celular igual es información de ustedes it's personal information en, luego tenemos sexo departamento de residencia municipio de residencia, todo esto si ustedes se fijan hasta la número 7 es información personal So, les pido, guys, que nos ayuden completando ese. Y cuando lleguemos al número 8, nos detenemos un momento porque les pide el nombre de la empresa. But, guys, el número 8, sí es bien importante que escribamos la razón social. Si ustedes se la saben, perfecto, lo completamos. Si no, let me know. Eh, y acá yo les voy diciendo cuál es la razón social de su empresa. Voy a buscar la de... Ahora, denme un segundito. So, completemos, guys, hasta el, el número 7. Y me esperan en la número 8, guys. Eh, si no recuerdan cuál es la razón social de su empresa, please. Teacher. Hola, Miss. Por eh, ejemplo, um, Corporate SADCB. O tenemos ahorita, que... ahorita le busco la suya, de hecho. Ajá, <ríe> me está sí. cargando acá para, eh, para brindársela. Dame un segundito. Give me just a moment. Okay, so. Ignore. La suya aparece como court fruit. Se la voy a copiar y pegar acá, you know, para que sea más fácil. Okay. Guys, ¿los demás saben cuál es, cómo aparece la razón social de su empresa? Teacher, ¿Alguien la para, necesita? Claro, Mr. Sánchez. Se, se confe, pero no me recuerdo. No, aparece servicio de corte, de hecho. Ah, okay. Mi teacher. Uh -huh. Ahorita se la pego por acá. Ah, ok, gracias. You're welcome. ¿Quién me dijo a mí? Mi teacher. Oh, Mr. Norvaez, ahorita. Mr. Narváez, la suya aparece como como electrónica. Ahorita se la voy a pegar acá para que les sea más fácil. There you go. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher. Dígame. Yo igual con Mr. Narváez, pero si me salgo de donde estoy haciendo la encuesta, me vuelvo a tener, tendría que volver a escribir todos los datos. Mm, Entonces, ok, le aparece como uh, electrónica, se lo voy a leer, electrónica uh -huh. computarizada SADCB. Ok. Mi teacher. La Gracias. suya, you're welcome, la suya Mauricio aparece como, let me check here. Uh, John Juan junto El Salvador SADCB. Uh 
¿Alguien más necesita el nombre de la empresa, guys? El Salvador SADCB dice. Ya le digo. Yo, sí, El Salvador SADCB. That's correct. Ok, guys. Now, en la siguiente parte. El número 9. La número 9, correct. So, en la 9 dice el nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Si se fijan, hay como un, eh, un menú. Vamos a darle clic en el menú y lo buscamos. Eh, es, aparece como inglés corporativo Regal International SADCB. So, escogemos inglés corporativo. Le damos siempre un clic afuera porque si solamente bajamos le puede seleccionar otro proveedor. So, y el nombre del curso, esa es la número 9, right? Inglés corporativo, Regal International. Ese es el correcto. SADCB. SADCB. Okay. Exactly. Inglés corporativo. Eh, Ese es como el primer indicativo, right? Sí. Y luego aparece entre paréntesis, Regal. Es el único que está ahí con ese nombre. Lo seleccionamos. El nombre del curso. El nombre del curso es el que ven en mi pantalla. Si no lo logran ver, se los leo por acá. Aparece como... Uh, ver. Inglés principiante, módulo 5. Ok. Es 5 como un número. Inglés. Inglés principiante, módulo 5. Y ahora comenzamos a valorar los aspectos. Uh -huh. Y la número 11, es correcto, la número 11 tiene tres aspectos. Dice valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. Hay una, eh, un menú por ahí para que ustedes seleccionen. ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado eh, para desarrollar el curso? Que fueron las 20 sesiones. ¿Qué opina del contenido y estructura del curso? ¿Qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? Y luego tienen eh, insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno y excelente. Lo cual esperamos, claro, que todo les haya parecido bien. Ustedes seleccionen eh, ahí de las eh, cinco posibilidades que tienen y ya yeah, eso sería la bien, y en la fecha que inició Tiche la fecha de inicio del curso eh, la ven en mi pantalla también iniciamos el 22 de noviembre en el menú solo tienen que ir seleccionando la fecha no van a escribir nada uh -huh. 22 de noviembre y la finalización que es el día de ahora 20 de diciembre La fecha de finalización automáticamente les aparece. Ok. Solo es de like double. Sí, sí. Gracias, guys, por enviarla. Dígame, Inora. Um, Dana, number 15. Mencione que otros cursos son de, de su interés. Claro. Eh, solo la 14, guys, su nivel de satisfacción con respecto al curso. Y la 15. Son los cursos. Eh, la número 15 es abierta para que usted seleccione si hay otro curso que le gustaría estudiar con nosotros o que le interesa. Eh, no es obligatoria, pero usted la puede completar. Right? Al igual que la número 16, no es obligatoria, pero si tienen comentarios de mejora, you know, algo que les haya parecido bien o algo que podamos mejorar, siempre son bienvenidos. Y al enviarlo, cuando le termina, le dan clic en enviar. Y guys, donde dice gracias, me le van a tomar una capturita que la enviamos al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre completo, como ya lo han hecho los compañeros eh, en el grupo. So, le dan clic en enviar, luego le toman captura y luego le enviamos al grupo de WhatsApp, please. Podría verificar si ya le digo, teacher. 
Ahorita, solo Mauricio, si nos hace el favor de agregarle el nombre completo, eh, eh, al igual que Michelle, si nos ayudan Pero, agregando el nombre completo, please. Para se lo reenvío entonces. No, solamente puede, como cuando hace una réplica, como reply, eh, pone eso, selecciona la misma foto, luego le da clic en el primer botoncito de arriba que se le va a activar, escribe su nombre y lo envía. Para que ya no envíe la foto, no, no es necesario. Gracias, Mr. Narváez. O si considera enviarlo nuevamente, no probé. That's okay. I seen it, teacher. Gracias, Miss. Ahorita la reviso. Teacher. Hello, Morris. Eh, confirma, por favor, si le digo mi captura. Ahorita, Miss. Right now. Give me one second. Eh, veo la de Nora. Thank you so much. Yes, Mauricio. Thank you so much. Juanjo, okay. thank you so much as okay. well. Thank you. Déjenme solamente verificar who am I missing. So I think I got some missing people here. So give me a sec. Ok, eso me hace falta blanca. I'm missing Salvador, I'm missing Noel. Uh, let me just make sure I got everybody's. Uh, no veo a Julio today. No, I don't see Julio. Me imagino que va a ser el tráfico, guys. Guys, no les costó llegar a su casa. No había tráfico on the way. No. Yes, teacher, no. in my case, have very traffic yeah right it's like Mucho. super crazy yeah i totally get it let me see me faltan algunos. hi paolo i'm glad to see you
Okay, so I have Mr. Narvaez, I got Hector. Gracias, Hector. Thank you so much. Okay, me falta el de blanco. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Nils. Okay, okay. Sí, sí, eso estaba escuchando que hay un tráfico horrible. Okay. Okay, guys. So, thank you so much. Eh, Paolo, cuando se ocupe por ahí, se nos ayuda con la encuesta de satisfacción también. That would be nice. Para que ya vayamos solventando, right? Eh, same thing for Kenya en Salvador. Nos ayudan por ahí, por favor. Thank you, guys. Ok, so, en pretty much, eso es parte de la encuesta de satisfacción y quedamos como legalmente, right? Finalización. Gracias, guys, por compartir, compartirnos la captura que ya la terminamos. And um, in the meantime, eh, mientras el resto de compañeros trabajan un poquito con esto, eh, ahora sí vamos a revisar parte del vocabulario eh, que teníamos pendientes por ahí. Y estábamos hablando un poquito, so we were checking before eh, algunas de estas situaciones. En parte del ejercicio que vamos a realizar is to mention, si estamos de acuerdo, if you agree, or if you disagree with these situations. Again, tenemos esta expresión sim, right, que es como parecer, parece que, right. Tenemos la expresión scratch, que hablamos de rasgo. Um, como, um, what's the word? Rasguños, rasguñarse, right? So if a child often scratched knees and elbows, que decíamos es esta parte del cuerpo, es su codo, right? That is a normal activity. Is that real? Do you agree with that? You disagree with it? La siguiente is that if a child spends a lot of time with technology, that gives them the skills they need or they will need in their adult life. So guys, la pregunta es, um, if, you know, we are in agreement, si estamos de acuerdo, or we are in disagreement. Algo importante de notar, guys, es lo siguiente. Si yo quiero decir yo estoy de acuerdo, yo digo, I agree. Si quiero decir estoy en desacuerdo, I use I disagree. Please be careful. Podemos también decir I am, pero no puedo decir I am agree. Le voy a cambiar y voy a agregarle esta siguiente parte que es I am in agreement. Puedo decirla de dos formas. I can say both ways. I agree or I am in agreement or I disagree or de igual forma puedo decir I am in disagreement, right? Solo tengan cuidado que no se puede decir I am agree. Eso, mm, we cannot say that. So, Why? estoy de acuerdo, I agree. Mm, por gramática, porque el verbo to be no se puede mezclar con otros verbos así. Se recuerda es, que, dígame. Uh, ¿Cuál es la, la más formal de todas eso? Ambas son formales. Eh, I agree, yo estoy de acuerdo. I am in agreement, yo estoy de acuerdo. Ambas mm -hmm. están bien. Uh -huh. okay. Ambas son formales. La única diferencia es eh, como en la forma, en la expresión, yeah. pero no es eh, informal, formal. Mm, ambas son okay. formales. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. And uh, yeah, that would be yeah, that would be the one. Okay, guys, so vamos a um, decir, of course, si están de acuerdo, si están en desacuerdo y sobre todo por qué. Intentemos dar una breve explicación de why you think that way. Guys, tenemos eh, un par de minutitos. We have about five, seven minutes to discuss, to give opinions. Vamos a los grupos, please. Les, uh, les voy a compartir pantalla. I'm going to share my screen. Un segundo para que no sea necesario que tomen captura. Uh, y vamos a los grupos, guys. Let's go to the groups and let's talk. Aprovechemos, you know, el tiempo para intentar utilizar el vocabulario nuevo, give opinions, and talk about it. Vámonos, guys. Let's go.
Welcome guys, so thank you so much for coming back. Um, let's take a look at some of your ideas, uh, some of your thoughts, eh, que fue lo que pudieron discutir, what ideas you got over here. Is this an acuerdo if you are in agreement or in disagreement with any of these statements? Um, okay, so guys, uh, really quick, tell me uh, for the first one, if a boy rarely see his father, he has grow problems growing up to be a man. Uh, agree or disagree? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I am a disagree teacher. Oh, okay. Do you have uh, like some explanation on that? Do you have some example? Tell us, tell us why. Why do you disagree? Yes, because it's my case. Mm -hmm. I lost my father when I when I was one year old. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. All yes. right. Um, I don't and you are a good example. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> okay. Um, él murió en la guerra. He's died in the war. Ah, okay, so he was a casualty from the war. Yes, here in El yes. Salvador. Yes, here in El Salvador. Oh, okay. Yes. Then, um, my mother uh, had to be father and mother. Oh, and she raised you. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. That's the way because I think um, uh, Why I disagree. you disagree with this statement. Yes. Uh -huh. Wow, yes. what a good example that is. All right, nice. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, guys, thank you. What about the second? Um, who wants to tell us about the second? If your child doesn't seem to want to talk about their day at a school, don't force it. Just wait until they are ready to talk. What do you think about this? Guys, do you agree with this? Uh, for the ones who have babies, children, teenagers, what do you think? I agree, teacher. Uh, okay, why? Because uh, the child has a problem at school. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, they bully him. Okay. Uh, only this. Oh, okay. Okay, so you agree with this? So you don't need to force him, okay? Guys, anybody else, do you agree with this one? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, yes. I think somebody is ready to participate. Give me one second. Um, I disagree, teacher. Oh, why, Hector? Mm, I think the child um, ha, I think the child has to grow up mm -hmm. and desenvolver desenvueltos. Okay, uh, and to be, I don't know, um, disembolta. I'm trying to think about a word to say that. <laughs> okay, uh, and to know how to behave probably in different environments. Yes. Uh huh, okay. So they can, yeah, they, they know how to behave. Mm. I don't okay. know. Relation. Uh -huh, yeah, to build relationships probably. But but Hector, so if your boy, imagine you have a child. So and your child uh, doesn't want to speak. So lo forzaría, would you force your boy or your girl to tell you? Mm. No, DJ, but I don't like. Mm -hmm. He don't, doesn't speak because he 
que eh, guardar son fin. Ah, that, ok. Mm, like secret. some secrets. Yes, some secrets. Ok. Ok, mm. sounds all right. Sounds all right. Ok, In interesting. Very nice. Ok, guys, let's jump. Thank you so much for that. Let's jump to the next one. And the next one says, um, if a child occasionally has fights with other children at a school, that is nothing to worry about. What do you think, guys? Is it normal? Is it okay? Is that fine? It's normal. I think it's, it's normal to Oh, uh -huh. why? Why, guys? Why is it normal? When the child plays a soccer ball mm -hmm. or basketball, eh, they run. They, they, se caída, como se cae? They fall. They fall. Okay, fall. Y, mm -hmm. y the, this moment has uh, it crashes, it snip and um, elbow. Uh, okay. Ah, okay. You have the other one. If a child often has a scratch, knees and elbows. Yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah, so when they are playing sports, right? It is normal that they get some scratches. What about the previous one? Y el anterior? What about the other one? El que dice... If a child has fights with other children, that is nothing to worry about. I agree so because if oh, okay. it's occasionally, uh, uh -huh. I think it's not bad, but it's every day mm -hmm. that a problem. Yeah. Ah, okay. So occasionally, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so there is nothing to worry about. Interesting. Eh, creo que um, Dinora también lo mencionó. Guay, Dinora. Guay, ch children, eh, fit. Teacher? Mm -hmm. eh, yes, if a child occasionally has fight with other children. Mm -hmm. I think Chai, um, Guanda saying, thing for mm -hmm. um, <laughs> for any reason yes any reason okay so they fight for any reason yeah that's that's normal right yes it's kind of common okay okay so there's nothing to worry about okay guys let's go ahead and check sure. Yes, yes, Miss. I think yes, occasionally it's normally, mm -hmm. but but mm -hmm. uh, but parents mm -hmm. we should always investigate mm -hmm. and help the children. Okay. Like <laughs> oh, super bien. Okay, to to avoid right to avoid uh, more problems or uh, that the same situation happens again. Wow, guys, I'm super happy. I'm listening to you giving ideas in English. I'm like, yeah, okay, nice. That's really good. Okay, and the last one, guys, if a child spends a lot of time with technology that gives them the skills uh, they will need in the future, it is okay. What do you think about this? For example, if a boy is watching videos, is on the tablet or play video games or uh, maybe on the cell phone or maybe like uh, taking uh, and destroying parts, I don't know, uh, with technological devices, it is useful and it is okay. What do you think about the last? Uh, for example, if your boy or your girl says, I want to be an influencer, I want to be a YouTuber in the future, 
and they spend a lot of time making videos in TikTok, watching videos. Um, do you think it's okay? Do you think it's fine? Do you agree or disagree? You know, casually teacher, because the child need to relax with the technology mm -hmm. for for is necessary for them. Uh -huh. Okay. For the skill, uh -huh. they need in in their adult life. Okay, but the technology. Mm -hmm. There, there are many different um, uh, things. Mm -hmm. For example, he can watch uh, video educativos. Ah, okay. Yes, very but, nice. But, 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 uh -huh. but don't, but don't lie. Is spend a lot of time. Uh, puede ser. Uh, bit, bit time. Uh, okay, a, a little time. Uh, it don't like spend a lot of time. It mm -hmm. can be bit time. Mm -hmm. Only okay. that, I think. Oh, okay, okay. But, but nice. That's like a very good opinion, guys. What about the rest? What do you think? Do you agree with this statement? Do you agree with Hector? It Teacher. is it yes. Mm, my opinion is depending mm -hmm. because um, the children need uh, relacionarse. Uh, to have relationships with other kids. Yes. With mm -hmm, technology, okay. With technology, but for um, size specific, okay. Mm. Because um, if if child uh, pass a lot of time in cell phone, tablet. Mm -hmm. Um, some child mm -hmm. uh, have tantrum. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, my opinion uh -huh. is depending. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it is good and bad. You agree yes. but disagree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. Nice vocabulary, Dinora. I like it. It sounds really Thank nice. You. Okay. Okay, guys, really, really good. So um, with this, we are definitely using part of the um, structures, grammatical structures we studied. Now, I just have one more exercise, guys, um, over here, and then we have one more from the book. So look at the following exercise here. If you feel more comfortable, you can write it down. If not, we can do it orally. Look at this, it says fill in the gaps. Uh, when I break something or if I break something, guys, what do you do if you break something in your house? For example, if you break a glass, a plate, a cup, what do you do? A mirror, a window, what do you do? First, I try to fix it. Ah, okay. But if I can't, uh -huh. I drop it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, guys, do you know how to say esconder? Hi. Okay. <laughs> guys, do you hide it? <laughs> if you break something in your house, do you hide it? Especially boys, lo esconden. Do you hide it from your wife, from your mom? Lo esconden, guys. Do you hide yeah. it? Or as Juan Jose, lo intentan reparar. Do you try to fix it? 
¿Qué hacen? What do you do? So, Mauricio, you, uh, yes, 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 tell us. I saw, I sell, I'll say mm -hmm. the content. You save the content. I sell, sell, teach, sell. Ah, you sell. Yes. Uh, el que vendería, what would you sell? If a something break. But I, I repair mm -hmm. and I sell. Ah, okay. You repair it and you sell it. Okay. For example. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, but are you talking about cars? Mm -hmm. Yes, can, can be. If the car doesn't start, and I, I have to buy a lot of piece, buy mm -hmm. piece. Yes, and, pieces uh, or spare parts. Mm -hmm. Spare parts. I and I, I, I spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I think is don't convenient for me. Mm -hmm. Then I. Mm -hmm. I sell it. I sell. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I was thinking more about like something smaller, but but okay, okay. Sounds all right. So you fix it and you sell it, or you try to fix it. Okay, nice. Guys, what about number two? When I buy some new technology, guys, ¿qué hacen? What do you do? When I buy new technology, ¿qué hacen con la nueva tecnología? What do you do? To learn new things. Okay, you learn new things. All right. Read, read the manual. Read the manual. Okay. Nice. Anything else? I, what else? Mm -hmm. I search in the Google. Ah, very good. Okay. So you check Google. All right. Or YouTube. Okay, or YouTube. I do the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. Yes, I really like YouTube. YouTube helps a lot, right? Very nice. What about next one? When I don't have enough money, just before payday. Payday, guys, es el día de pago, right? When I don't have enough money, just before payday, ustedes qué hacen? What do you do? I love those days. <laughs> you love those days. <laughs> Which ones? Los días antes de pago? También. O los días de pago. <laughs> okay. When I don't have enough money. Cuando no tengo suficiente dinero. Before, antes del día de pago. What do you do, guys? I don't eat. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, you don't eat. It's a yoke to share Oh, para, para que ajuste. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, ¿qué harían ustedes? What would you do? I prepare my lunch. Okay. You prepare your lunch? Aha, uh -huh, that's a very good option, too. Maro oh. chance of. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, yes, yes, yes. Teacher. Yes? I travel in the bus. Ah, very good, para ahorrar gasolina. Yes. Esa es una muy buena, especialmente creo que ahorita. Gasolina mm. is too expensive. Okay. Anything else, guys? ¿Qué más haría? What do you do? To ask I for do. a money loan. To ask for some money, to ask for a loan. Yes, oh. creo que estaba por ahí, Abby. Yes, teacher, I don't buy antojitos. Ah, yes, you stop buying like some churritos, some snacks, some yes. pastelitos. 
<laughs> okay, okay, nice. Guys, what about the next one? When I feel depressed, what do you do when you're feeling blue? When you're feeling blue, when you're feeling down, sad, what do you do, guys? I listen to song. Oh, what kind of music do you listen to? Mm, anything. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so anything, all right. I make exercise. You make, oh, okay. Really? Se siente mejor? Do you feel better? Yes, of course. Okay, nice. I go running. What about you yeah. guys? What about the rest? What do you do when you're feeling super depressed? I take a nap teacher in the... Okay. I go to bed. You go to bed. Uh, really? You go to bed? No yeah. se siente peor? Don't you feel worse? No, because I take a rest. I okay. Stay. Okay, so you take a rest. You clear your mind, I believe. Okay. I work what? in the moment. You walk or you work? Work, caminar. I work. Ah, okay. Morning. You walk. I drink. Yeah. I drink. You drink. What do you drink? A beer. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Only one. Or tea. <laughs> no, uh, two pack. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's not only one. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. And do you feel better? Teacher. Yeah. If I money, I if I money, uh -huh. if I, have I, money. I buy a dress or blouse or shoes. Ah, you go shopping. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes, that's a good um technique. <laughs> You feel better. El único problema es que si no hay dinero, you feel worse después. Yes. Okay. Nice. 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 Sounds all right. Okay, guys. What about um? Okay, vamos abajo. Let's go down a little bit. Look at this. Um, when I have time to kill and nothing to do, vamos a estar de de bajito. When I have time to kill. And I have nothing to do. Guys, ya nos vamos casi a vacaciones. Quizás tengan días sin hacer mucho. So when I have time to kill and nothing to do, ¿qué hacen? What do you do? I watch TV and movie. Okay, so you watch it. In Netflix. Do you like Netflix? Yes. Or oh, in, the, in the other site. Okay, okay, so watch a movie, probably on the TV, in there the are, website. Mm -hmm. There are a site uh, uh, called cinecalidad.org, it's very nice for... Cinecalidad.org. It can download, uh, download, yeah. da download, download uh -huh. uh, movies. Also, oh, in Spanish okay. is very nice to be, to can see in the HD. And really? Yes. Okay. Wow, sounds all right. Sounds really good. But uh, is it free or do you need to pay? It's free, teacher. It's free. Oh. Yeah. Say okay. the game, please. Aquí Cine tomando calidad. nota, you know. <laughs> yeah. For me, vacation. Punto o r. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. What is next? Is I'm a poor boy. <laughs> okay, so Cine Cali. Ah, yes, yes. If you have the application, please <laughs> share it as well. No, that's a really nice recommendation. Uh, I use another one. Uh, I don't like the publicity on it. 
Eh, porque la publicidad es como fea, es kind of, yeah. you know, kind yeah. of weird, but it there is free. Are, there are publicity teachers, but uh, I don't, eh, pero, bueno, digamos, lo voy a decir en español, usted ¿Mm? le da que le ha descargado, le da la película que le gusta, después hay varias como, hay varias opciones de servidores que uh -huh. le dan para que pueda descargar. Yo elijo a feature o uno que se llama upload. Entonces, esos dos ocupo, a feature, eh, le doy clic y de ahí me da una publicidad, le doy atrás, tengo que darle otra vez clic, otra vez atrás hasta que me deja entrar a la feature uh -huh. y dice, dice, este, si estoy de acuerdo, le doy que, solo le, 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 le quito la X que te den y le, de ahí me parece descargar, uh -huh. y me parece en cuántas gigas pesas, de ahí oh, le doy okay. clic en descargar y después espero y le vuelvo a dar clic. Oh, y ahí, okay. Pero a lo mucho se tarda, ok, unos 15, unos 10 minutos en descargar una película de 2 gigas. But it is only for downloading. Solo es para descarga. Only for downloading. Sí, o la descarga. Ah, ok. Películas. Mm. Oh, ok. I, well, I see that Kevin is sharing one. Kevin, tell us about it. Do you stream or is it only for downloading? Uh, guys, si están relacionados, familiarizados con la palabra streaming, so streaming is como yeah, verlos, streaming is, verlos is en like línea. Is, uh, 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 nah, but este, Cuevana is... Uh, uh, streaming is or for downloading? Mm, if you want downloading, you can do it. But ah, okay. if you only want to see the movie, you can do it too. Uh, oh. Is it free? Movies, uh, excuse me. How can I... How can I do? Uh, how can I say estreno? Premieres. Ah, uh, include premieres. Oh, nice. Sometimes, sometimes the movie. Uh, you can see the movie uh, before the premiere. Movie, yeah, before the premiere. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Sounds it's like a, a very a, nice option. It's a good, it's a good page. And really, it's a good page. It, you can see you... movies, este, um, series, ah, I think. Series, yeah, yeah. Anime. Yeah. Oh, but do you need to subscribe? Do you need to enroll? No. no? no, no you don't no, sign no, up? No. no. no very no, nice. No. Do don't don't need nothing about this. Uh, you only you only uh, write the link, mm -hmm. uh, search search the movie, mm -hmm. uh, it play. Oh, very nice! I like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back here. Here I'm gonna copy those links. You know. <laughs> yeah. Cuevana, but, uh -huh. Cuevana punto Cuevana tres punto n u and you all right uh -huh. um does it have like like a variety of movies different kind of movies uh, are the programs good are the movies good or like are they famous yeah yeah uh, i see i see uh, uh, harry potter oh i love harry potter I see Harry Potter, the Philosopher's Stone. I see oh. Harry Potter, the even all movies of the Harry Potter. Nice in English. In in, in English with the subtitles. With, with subtitles, and oh, I okay. see two. I see two. Este, yeah. Wonderful Beast. Wonderful. Ah, the last movie. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, very nice. Very nice. That is really good because you have like English and Spanish. I use another one that is called, um, I don't really know the extinction, but it's this one. I was checking it today because I'm watching a series. Uh, have you ever seen, guys, have you seen the series Suits? Uh, 
Suits. Alguien ha visto suits? I don't know in Spanish what the name is. Yeah, of course. With the, what is I the saw name it. Of... I saw it, teacher. Really? <laughs> Did you like yes. it? Yes, so much. What is the name of the guy? Harley? Harvey? Harley. Harvey Specter. Oh, you have seen it. Okay. But did you watch it in Spanish or in English? Spanish. Oh, <laughs> my God. Excuse me. <laughs> Very nice. Very I never good. learned him. Yes, really good. You know, I other, found other this. Other name is Rachel. Rachel? Ah, the girl. Rachel, That's yeah. right. Yes. Uh, but I am just in episode like five, I think. I'm starting. So I started like two weeks ago, but I'm going super slow. But in this uh, place, Netflix, I am watching the series, but the problem is that um, they are in English. So there is no Spanish at all. So guys, if you want to practice English, I yeah. strongly recommend you this. Of Subtitles course. in English and the movie in English, series yes. in English. So, okay. uh, but, but, the, but, but it's not difficult to understand, I think. Guys, los que ya la vieron en inglés, ¿les costó entenderla o la vieron con subtítulos? Did you watch it with subtitles? It's hard to understand no because they speak very quickly. Ah, okay. So it was, and even with the caption, incluso con la letra, even with the caption. Yes, even with the caption. Oh, okay. I understand around 50 or 60% because oh. they speak very fast. Oh, but if you understood 50, that's amazing because those series are like real English. And the vocabulary, I have to say, is super difficult because it is technical vocabulary for lawyers. Yeah. So yes. kudos, good job. Yes, but, but I, when, mm -hmm. uh, when we understand a few words, we mm -hmm. can link and we can understand what the context that is totally right. You're totally right about it. Sometimes, but that is a, sometimes uh -huh. uh, yeah. I see the movies in English, mm -hmm. but with subtitles in English too. Ah, okay, perfect. So and when I, that uh -huh. I listen, I listen, I listen the movie and I read the movie. Very nice. That is actually the best thing to do. So cuando decimos subtitles or watch it with subtitles, no nos referimos a español, sino que creo que la palabra que usamos es kind of incorrect in, in you know, from our side, from teacher side. Eh, but la, la, la palabra sería caption, que es lo que Paolo menciona. Exactly. So watch a movie in English, pero vean también las letritas in English. So eso le llamamos caption. Uh, so, mm -hmm. so son English caption como la letra, right? El subtitle, eso sí es como otro idioma. But very nice. That's a really good uh, thing. Yeah. Igual, guys, si van a buscar algo en YouTube, for example, eh, yo sí les recomiendo anime. I strongly recommend you anime for listening exercise. Eh, no sé si les gusta anime. Have you ever seen Dragon Ball, Naruto, Inuyasha? One Piece. Oh, uh, yeah. So they are good. They are good um, for practice, you can see, for English you can see practice. Mm -hmm. Tokyo Ghoul. Which one? Tokyo Ghoul. Co Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul. What is that about? It's a very, it's a very anime. Um, yes. Parasite. Parasite? Uh, yes. What is Tokyo Ghoul or Gur? What is that about? Se lo voy a decir en español. No, eh, si you're doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> Le está haciendo super bien en English. <laughs> okay, okay. Give it a try. Eh, We will help you. Los, aquí los chicos le ayudan, no worries. <laughs> okay. Eh, Tokyo Ghoul is about that boy mm -hmm. that... Uh, Fight with a girl, but mm -hmm. the girl is a is a ghoul. The ghoul a, is a, is, ghoul is like, like a monster. A, is like a no monster. It's like a rasa. A breed. How do you spell ghoul? G O U. G O U. H. 
O U L. H G H O U L. Yes. Go. 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 Ah, Tokyo. Go. Okay, I saw it. All right. So and I see this. I I see these animes for my daughter because okay. I. I oh, know the filter doesn't let. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but it's this one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he transforms. Uh, they can eat uh, food. They can't. Uh -huh. They can't eat food. What Only do they eat? Humans. Oh my God. So they are like, what? Like vampires? Like something mm. like that? No, not like vampires because the vampires only only get blood. Blue. Uh -huh. uh, but like Hannibal? They, yes. They, yeah. They're cannibals. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's the old rams. It's a good. It's a good anime. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. It's a good anime. Uh, I see. I see this anime for for my daughter. Because mm -hmm. she likes. Oh, yeah. okay. But and do you I watch see... it in English too? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, she 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 study English. And Very nice. She study English. Sometimes she speak with me. Okay. Yeah, she talk with me, uh, but uh, she study. Uh, uh, Who can I do Portuguese? Portuguese. Yeah, Portuguese too. Wow. So she is she going is, to be a three lingual she speak, speaker she is, person. She, she speaks very well Portuguese. Amazing. So congrats. And Kudos for your daughter. Thank nice. You. Yeah. And, and it's and, amazing and that I, you watch I, I see, together. I see, mm -hmm. I, see, I see this anime and I see Attack on Titans too. Attack of Titans. Okay. I believe that is anime too, right? That's like this Japanese thingy. Uh, yeah. did, did you find uh, that in Cuevana too? In Cuevana, yeah. Ah, okay. That's a really good recommendation. Oh, no, 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 I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know what is Netflix because I. I. I'm a pro boy. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, only, yeah. I, I only see free, free, free links. Free websites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. We definitely got you. Okay. So there you have, guys. Some recommendations for your vacation. If you have nothing to do, if you want to kill the time. So you can go ahead and watch the one that uh, Mr. Narvaez and Paula mentioned, that is Tokyo Ghoul. I think you said the word, right? And what is the other? Attack of Titans, you said. And uh, what was the other one, guys? Parasite. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, okay. Okay, I think I have seen it. But it didn't call my attention. What is that about, Mr. Narvaez? Excuse me? What, what is Parasites about? The Casa Plata, what is that about? Ah, bueno, se lo voy a decir en español porque no sé cómo Oh, come on. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, go ahead. Ah, se trata de como de un parásito que entra en un humano. Entonces el humano uh, puede transformar su cuerpo y pelea con otros tipos de parásitos malos. Incluso hay un parásito que mata a la mamá de él. Oh, entonces, that's bad. Es bueno. El intro, oh. el opening es is, is good. The song. Yes. Oh, okay. So guys, you have there another recommendation. But the biggest recommendation here is... Uh, whenever you watch them, uh, guys, yo sí les recomiendo a lot, but a lot, eh, que lo escuchen en inglés, listen to them in English, 
y pónganle caption. No subtitles, no como verlo en inglés y leerlo en español. No, that's no the idea, but verlo en inglés y leerlo en inglés too. That helps a lot, but a lot. Um, I, you know, I practiced my listening eh, con Naruto. Increíblemente, guys, because eh, los animes están diseñados para niños, para adolescentes. Um, el inglés que se usa es fácil de comprenderle. Easy to get it. Se aprende mucho vocabulario y sobre todo, guys, si tienen el tiempo, uh, intenten escucharlo e intenten decirlo igual que ellos, pronunciarlo I, igual que ellos. Es un muy buen ejercicio. I uh -huh. don't like uh, view an English anime. Why not? Um, because lost a sense the Japan. <laughs> no, ah, you watch it in Japanese. Yes, uh, subtitles. Ah, okay. So subtitles in English or subtitles in the Spanish? Uh, ambos, ¿cómo se dice? Both. Both. No. You know? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably, probably. Lo que sucede es que um, I used to... Es que para mí ir leyendo es como complicadito, you know, because I get tired, mi vista se cansa mucho. Entonces, um, escucharlo en japonés, uh, como yo no entendí algunas expresiones, I studied Japanese a long time ago, ya no me acuerdo. So that's why I was like, ah, English. <laughs> English, it's easier. But como práctica, guys, funciona muchísimo. It really okay. helps a lot. So I strongly okay. recommend you that. Especialmente ahorita que vamos a vacaciones, eh, igual, right, si ven películas, series, eh, hay algunas que son un poco complicadas, solo les recomiendo que vean mucho películas para niños, películas animadas, eh, porque el inglés es diseñado para niños, o es más fácil de entenderle y se aprende mucho vocabulario, right, no, uno, no se queda tan perdido como en las películas uh, de personas de color, de African American, right? Que eso sí es super mess. But guys, tenemos acá actividades ya que van a tener días extra de vacation. You can take definitely advantage of your time. Uh, so guys, uh, well, fortunately and unfortunately, uh, de esta manera vamos culminando con el módulo número 5, so basic number 5. Guys, el próximo que van a iniciar If God willing, el próximo año es el número 6, el último de básicos y vamos a intermedio. Um, excelente trabajo el día de ahora, super amazing job. Uh, me alegra haber escuchado algunas voces que me imagino por trabajo, por any other reason. Uh, durante el módulo se hizo un poquito difícil de tenerlos por acá, but I'm super glad, guys. Um, that as always, uh, you participate. Me gustó mucho que, you know, you try to speak English today a lot. That was really, really nice. Eh, guys, solamente les tomo asistencia. Les voy a tomar la fotito de finalización tú. Si no se me han ido a dormir todavía, <laughs> me ayudan con la cámara no, un momento. Okay. That would be really nice. Uh, y me regalan solamente confirmación eh, que estamos por acá, please. Soy Mia Secon, Miss Mendoza está por ahí. Espero que ya haya llegado a su casa, Miss. Eh, por ahí de Andrea también. Blanca. Creo que Presente, no teacher. Hola, Miss. Gracias. Hey. Georgina. Thank you. Georgina, creo que la vi por ahí. Iván. Vale, pues, amigo, pues. Mr. Sánchez. Hello, teacher. Está por aquí. Thank you. Mr. Narváez, que por aquí lo escuchamos. Present teacher. Too. Juanjo. Present teacher. Thank you. Julio César yeah. está acá. Julio, are you here? No había Julio today. Ok. Kenya. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin is right here. Lady. Present Gracias, Miss. Mauricio. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. Hace un momento bien, Noé. Salvador, que está por acá. Miss Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Eh, Michelle. Eh, Dinora. Present, teacher. And Damaris. Damaris está por acá, no, right? Probably she's working. Ok, solo, guys, si me ayudan con su camarita un momentito para tomarles la fotografía y que no salga 
you know, el espacio negro here. Antes que se me vayan a dormir. <laughs> so before you go to sleep. A mí no me mandó uh, la teacher. No, como no, Ezequiel. Pero yeah. ya lo anoté. Es que I heard you. Lo escuché. Okay. Probably I just slipped it. Pero sí lo, lo anoté por acá. Ok. Uh, so girls, nos ayudan un momento, please. Mr. Sanchez, uh, Kenya, where are you? Mr. Narvaez, Salvador. Y yeah, algunos que es la primera vez que los veo. Hi, Paolo. <laughs> so good evening. Nice to meet you. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. So, side cheese and congrats, guys. Really good job. Yo sé que ha valido, eh, pues, pues, un poquito, right? Estar a esta hora eh, en clases después del trabajo. But, guys, you have done an amazing job. And there you go. So, let me just take the picture. And... There you go. Okay, ya se las comparto. So guys, um, super good job. Espero que tengan un super eh, buen fin de año. Eh, que descansen mucho, que aprovechen la vacación extra, right, que vamos a tener. En feliz año nuevo también. Feliz San, uh, Valentine's Day, Día de los Reyes Magos. <laughs> And everything. Guys, be careful si se van a vacaciones también, right? Cuidado con los accidentes, cuidado con la quema de pólvora y espero verlos por acá alrededor. Un gusto, guys. Un placerazo compartir con ustedes. And I'll see you next year. Que descansen, guys. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Nice. Muchas gracias, teacher. Gracias por Un su placer, ayuda. Guys. Feliz año para todos. Igual gracias, gracias. Feliz año. Sí. Bye. 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 See you. Bye. No tomen mucho. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. Sí, vamos acá.